Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and welcome to the fairly generic intro that I'm going to be using across the next few episodes because I have to go to work in the morning out in the field for archaeology stuff and I don't have a ton of time to make a bunch of intros or outros but things are heating up and we're finally getting kind of some of the main plot stuff so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in a moment. I mean yeah, the, what her mom said is that he died at the he died here. Whoop. Nope. Can't search you. Can't search you. Right, see? I mean, I, I just saved. Doesn't get any better. There are some true, a lot of really nice people, but many awesome ones. Yeah, it's true. I don't know why the chewed toilet corpse would have it. Nope. <laughs> Tattered equipment pack. Maybe this. Okie dokie. We did it. Uh, we are successful. How can I help? You want to talk? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Um, she certainly seemed to upset you. I told you that my mother and I never got along. Obviously, that has not changed. And now father is dead. That leaves a hurt inside you just can't imagine. I haven't seen him in so long. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Okay. Time to go. Zoom, 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 zoom. Pew. This really does make the desert more traversable. But yeah. Like, they made that guy that way on purpose, but it's just... It's just frustrating that the game won't let me do, like, I don't know. And maybe you just can't, like, you know, you can't, like, in real life, you can't just run around killing terrible people, unfortunately. But, like, unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know. But, um... Oh, I want to go... I want to actually out to the dune sea. A little too far, there we go. Do you hate sand? Can I? I checked. Yeah, no, I checked in the cave, but it doesn't look like I can. Where's the. Okay, I. I'm not trying to go over there. I'm trying to find the entrance. Bastila looks much better at Sorter. I'm sure everybody has a has a much better look. Here, let's return. Makes it easier. Like, I don't know, the game's trying to like teach me, like, you can't just murder people because you're a Jedi. But I'm like, that man legit like also like he 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 offers a clear and distinct threat. Like you can't just walk around knowing that like somebody's gonna like try to jump you and like murder you and sell you and treat you like garbage. Like you can, but it's really stressful. I mean if you have the capabilities to like fight that, like you would. You know, you wouldn't just like lay down and die or anything you know you wouldn't just like take it like you would you'd fight that you would protect yourself so i mean johanny's obviously a better person than me she's like no i must not let the dark side get a hold of me and i'm sitting here like let me kill him let me kill him oh bachelor's grandchild Back already? Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron, mother. 
I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No. I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. Maybe you should listen to what she has to say. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything. Wow, like they had a really terrible childhood. Um, maybe one of you should be the first to give the other a break? You're right. It shames me, but I just, I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Because your hunting's a dangerous occupation. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the Order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Bastila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Well, now. You said you had important business. And you were never... This is pretty business. sweet. You there. You take care of my daughter. You hear me? I did wonder how, uh, like, perhaps, like, Bastila's perception of her childhood, like, things that you think you remember as fact are, like, it can be, like, really skewed from, like, the perspective of a child. And perhaps the fights were, like, you know, the mom, like, trying to prevent the dad from, you know, taking Bastila out or, like, doing really dangerous things, you know. But but Bastila idolized her father and felt stuck at home with her mom. So she, like, kind of put it all on her mom. And, again, her mom probably wasn't the nicest, honestly. Like, she seems like a really, like, she probably was a really strict mom, you know, and didn't communicate very well. But still, it's nice in the end here to, like, be able to, like, you know, have some last words. And, like, you know, reconcile some things. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after... after what I have to do. But I already told you there's nothing that can... Please take it. I mean, I can give her a bunch. I have a bunch. Talk. Oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go make your father and I proud. I'll try. Farewell. Interesting! Hmm, Bastila! Bastila has feelings and wants to see her mom again. Even though she was like, no, no, I can't do it. You can I haven't thought about my family in years. But, like, I don't know, it's different when you're actually faced with it. For her, it was very, like, theoretical. But again, a system where, like, <laughs> kids are taken from their parents and then told to never find them again or, like, think about them again, like... I have a hard time imagining that that's, like, 100% foolproof. Like, I mean, you can do, like, a, a bunch of brainwashing and stuff, and I guess the younger they are, the better, but, and that's why they, they try to get them as young as possible. But, like, I don't know. A family connection isn't a bad thing. Like, I don't know. It's just part of being alive. Go talk to the Jawa. This Jawa? The one that's sitting here? What did they say? It was, like, uh... 
think it was this Jawa. Nope, okay. Sand stays, all else changes. Thank you for your wisdom. How about you? Nope. Near the back gate? Near the way out gate? Oh, you're right. He said, yeah, I remember. Am I? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Every port we visit, we end up meeting some long lost friend, family, the companions in a vast galaxy of millions in the saddle. Well, hey, you know what? There's only. Ow. Ow, my thumb. There's only so much you can do <laughs> gameplay wise. And maybe in a way, like, the galaxy is a lot smaller place than you think, you know, in, a lot, in some ways. But also, like, maybe it's the force. Whoa. I thought this ja the Jawa was supposed to have a name. Oh, that one? Maybe it's that one. Oh, yep, yeah, is 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 They're so cute. They talk so much faster than everybody else. Uh, thank you. Th thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> but, okay. You were strapped for cash at this point, so when she pulled out the extra 500 credits, you are like, Hey, what?! I've been struggling for cash this whole time, and you've been like holding out on me. That's so funny. I've had, I think I, that happened to me. I can't remember what game it was. There was some game I remember though, where like, yeah, a companion like pulled out this extra money, and I was like, hold up! Like, we've needed money this whole time, and you're just gonna, like, maybe it was like a Dragon Age? Like, Origins or something, where, like, money is, like, literally more precious than gold. <laughs> it's like, oh, god, like, you, don't, you never have enough money, ever. Oh, I guess I could just... Oh, we're already... We're walking. We're gonna go to the Ebon Hawk, and then go... We'll go in and talk to Bastila, and then we'll come out with Juhani again. Hello, Stonesmith! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, welcome, something, something. It's freaking from the Grinch. It's the Who song, the Whoville song. Bastila, ba ba ba. Where am I going? Where am I? Where am I going? Oh god, I've got the wrong way. I don't know where anything is, Johanny. Yes, yes, thank you, Rain. It was. Alistair, like, gives his sister, like, actual gold. And, like, the whole game, I'm pretty sure, anyway, it was Alistair doing that. Because, yeah, I, I had a vague recollection it was Dragon Age, and I was pretty sure it was Origins. So that, that triggers a few more. But maybe... Yeah. Oh, no, that's right, Zanko, you're right! So Alistair does give give his sister money... Uh, but it's from our shared coffers. Like, he gives her my money. Like, you go, like, you, you, you it said, like, you go back into your, like, your, your inventory screen, and it's like, money gone. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, jeez. The older you get, the more you realize the Grinch was in the right. The Grinch was actually before its time. You know. How can I help? Do you feel better now? Yes. I've See? Peace! What the Jedi you want! Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. <sighs> Are you done being worried about us now? Yes, what's on your mind? Think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I... He's so full of anger and hate. I mean, I he is your it. son. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for... 
He oh, just no. grew up and got angry and bitter like you did, you know? Like, everybody grows up. Like, he's not going to be the same child, obviously. He's going to be different. He's a man. I know, Don, you Alistair. I know! He's like, let me help you. And he gives you, like, oh, it was so frustrating. Yes, what's on your mind? You seem like you're far away. Is something wrong? Oh, it's it's nothing. Sorry. Uh, doesn't seem like nothing. I told you my wife died four years ago. I, I, I've just been trying to remember what she looked like. It shouldn't be so difficult. I, I can remember things about her, things she did, the way she smiled, what her hair smelled like. Our last fight, just not her face. I try and hold it in my head, but it, it, it's gone. I, I don't know, that's strange. Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this. I mean, just, don't you have, like, all, like pictures of her, you know? So do I feel a bit guilty hearing the long lost love from your previous night life, the love you left to die? Listen, we've been through this already. <laughs> it's completely different. Um, it's not a strange card. You remember the important things. But I should be able to remember her face. It's, it, it's frustrating. I, I feel like I'm look losing. at a picture. I, uh, it must look really strange for me. To Obsessing. You, you must no, think I'm your wife's only been dead four years. It's not a long time, honestly. Uh, no, but I doubt your wife would want you to do this to yourself. Well, I, I suppose you're probably right, but I have to do it anyway. The only thing that's kept me going since she died has been the need to find Saul and kill him. It's better to think about that than anything else. If I can do that, then maybe I can let her go. Let it all go. If we encounter Saul, if we ever have the, the chance, promise me that I'll be the one to kill him. He's gesturing I, I with gun hands. I need to. Yeah, I know. Talking while waving your hands holding guns. I know. Uh, if we get the opportunity, um, then I promise. Thank you. I, uh, I guess there's really nothing else to say. Apparently not. I should probably talk to Johanny too. Cause I'm freaking pissed. My cathar blood seeds. Oh, okay, okay. That man's still running free. He will pay. All right, all right. No problems, Johanny. We're gonna we're gonna get that man. <laughs> oh, and it'll be a sweet little bit of justice. It will. It will. Like, you can't feel bad. It's like killing a Nazi. Like, killing... You don't feel bad killing Nazis. You don't feel bad killing racist, sexist slavers who are garbage people who want nothing but terror and destruction. Like, you don't... You just don't feel bad. You're doing the world a favor. Where is he? I swear I saw him, like... Right before the cutscene happened, I saw him off in the distance, and I was like, that's a twig like I haven't seen. Where is he? <gasps> okay, Frograder, thank you for coming by. I'm, like, waving at the camera. I don't have the face cam on, but it was really good to see you. I hope you're doing well in this, in this quarantine time. And you're playing lots of games and eating lots of good food. Uh, it may be that I have to travel first. Like, go to a different planet, maybe? I mean, I could always run back to Corybon. Let's see. Hang on. Let me, let me double check. Jolie. I should maybe go talk to Jolie a bit. We might have gained enough experience or whatever. He's in the medical room, which is, oh geez. Gizka, Gizka, my children. Got something on your mind? Yeah, lots of problems. Why did you leave the, oh, make a healing kit for me. How many could you possibly need? And besides, I don't what? have enough supplies on me to put some more together. Ask me later when you're actually in need and I'm less... It's been tired. forever since I asked you. Got something. Why'd you leave the Jedi? <laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? Uh, you said you did. You said you weren't a Jedi any longer. Well, 
Technically, I was only a Oh! Friend. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. That is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No. What do you mean by it left you? You know what I hate? Well, you know, lots of things really, but I'm old and easily annoyed, but that's besides the <laughs> What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. Let me guess. You disagree. Damn right I disagree. The Jedi are just as capable of injustice as anyone As I else. sit here harboring murder. They try harder, sure, but sometimes they get it wrong. And I'm not even talking about how some of us fall to the dark side. No, that's plenty indication of our fallibility. But it's something else entirely. No, I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe-wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Nobody can be right about everything. That's true, but it's not what I meant. I guess I'm not being clear, am I? Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my <laughs> age is entitled to <laughs> I don't have to. But for your sake, I'll try to... Thank you, it. I'm dumb. I'll tell you a little tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortaf, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Ah, I could never get it straight. Go on. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes, Master Hortaf. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. He would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Hordeth. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes... Why? Why? He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. I mean, I think in a lot of ways, some people like will say, you know, that like a well-meaning person can often cause more harm than someone who has ill intent. You know, like, uh, like, uh, I guess you could use very broadly the example of like colonialism where like some, and like missionaries where they were like, you know, oh, we're going to bring, you know, civilization and society and make things better for you. When in actuality, they just brought disease and corruption, crime and, you know, degradation and nothing good. They didn't bring like freaking anything good to anybody. Like they didn't need it. They didn't want it, you know? Oh, okay, I have to travel to another planet. <laughs> it's going in and out of the Ebonog a bunch of times. We're like, we just like tease the guy, right? We like poke our heads out and then we're like, nope, and we go back in. And then we go poke our heads back out, nope, come back in. And eventually he just gets sick of watching us and pops out. That's how I'm going to see it. And go on. So, one day a young Padawan meets Master Hordath in the courtyard and, not knowing of his blindness, asks him for directions to the council. Quite sure of himself, Hordath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally. And he asks if Master Hordath is sure, and of course Master Hordath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells Isn't pride Padawan supposed to, to not be a thing, too? And no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went on to something else, well, we'll never know. Was that him leaving? Like, he got bad directions and then left? Uh... I mean... Coddling, like, old guys and established, like, institutions isn't anything new, you know? Being like, oh, no, he definitely needed, he's definitely wise and nothing's wrong and everything's totally fine. Like, that's definitely not new. I mean, apparently he did literally just keep walking into walls. But, like, how stupid he's like, my eyes aren't failing when he literally can't see. Like, I, that's, the world isn't, like, a big mass of, like, colors, you know? Like, it's not, like, a blurry, like, phantasmal, like, realm, you know? Like, and also, like, why couldn't he let the Force see for him? Like, that, that's not a problem either. Like, it just seems like such a weird hill to die on in this instance, you know? 
So, you knew this Master Hortath or the Padawan? No, no, both of them were from before my time. Well before the Sith Wars, even. I don't understand. The tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good really? run. I mean, is that, like, you know, the, like, the symbolism in that was, was very, like, evident, you know, where it's like the, you know, the old order, the old man is, is blind oftentimes and refuses to address the problems that are right in front of it and keeps hitting problems, you know, like walls or whatever and, like, tables or whatever, you know, which are problems that the Jedi Order encounters, but refuses to change the way they deal with them or address them, you know, and, like, I think we've talked about before how the, one of the Jedi Order's failings was, like, how it just refused to see that it could do any wrong and how, like, um, like, especially in, like, the prequels and stuff where, like, the Jedi Order... You know, they kept trying to do what they thought was right. Like, they tried to do what they thought was right, but it turned out to not be what they needed to do, you know? Which, you can say, 2020 hindsight, you know, blah, 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 you know, like, we can make judgments all we want, you know, at this point, but, like... And they did what they thought was best, you know, but, like, still, like, the situations needed something different, something new. And in treating situations like they always have, they they lose people. They lost that Padawan who was just like, you know what, if this is who you've got in charge, some old blind guy who is, like, the antithesis of almost everything you've taught me, you know, where it's like you need to be willing to, like, you know, you need to not be proud, you know, you need to be willing to ask for help and you need to be willing to give help, you know, like, to be, like, compassionate and, like, calm and, like, you know, peaceful or whatever, but, like, more than anything, like, to not be proud. And then, like, the Jedi Order is, like, holding this guy up as, like, a beacon of, like, you know, an exemplar and this Jedi, this Padawan's like, bro, like, this isn't, like, how could you give me the wrong directions, you know? And then there was that whole thing, right? Where it's like the Jedi Order, like, tries to, like, direct everything, you know? They try to, like, direct the fate of the, of the galaxy in a lot of ways down a path they think is for good. And if you question it, sometimes they will get, like, snarky with you. And they're like, no, like, no, you gotta do what I say. And then the Jedi, or the, the galaxy, essentially, like, whoever's listening to them, the Republic, are led down the wrong path, you know? And not the place where they were supposed to be when they very easily, you know, could have gone, you know, the correct way if this Jedi hadn't, like, you know, had addressed his blindness from the start. So that was a really good metaphor, but, like... Uh, I think I don't need to talk to Zalbar. Mission. We should talk... Oh, my gosh. I haven't talked to Mission. Mission's, like, off on the side somewhere. There's a race of people who are literally blind and see through the Force. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I think it's, um... I don't think it's ever stated, like, for sure, but the the guy in Rogue One who isn't blind, or he, who isn't, he says he's not a Jedi, and maybe he could have been a Jedi at some point, but, um, like, in a different, like, different time or whatever, but the guy who's Force-sensitive, at the very least, he's Force-sensitive. He's blind, he can do all kinds of things. Hey there, what can I do for you? Talk about your brother. Look. I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know oh, yeah, yeah. the job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just another scam. So, is there anything else you need? Never mind. Okay. Jolie mentions this a few times. Have I read the Tales of Jedi comic? I haven't read the comics, no. Okay. So, I think we've talked to everybody that needs to be talked to. Oh. And we will, we will now travel to Corbon, cause why not? I think. Oh, we're not. We're not actually done. Well, actually, and now that I've completed Bastila's quest, I can um, go pick up the star map, which I haven't done yet. Sure, you know what? Let's girls day out. Let's go. Also, we'll just see if we can get that guy to show up in the desert. You should save first just in case. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I will I will definitely like make that make this save in like caps, you know, where it's like, okay. This is the moment of truth. 
I do wish they didn't make it blurry. Like, I'm obviously moving faster. Maybe just, like, put, like, lines coming off of me if you really feel that it's necessary, but blurring... Maybe this is because they do this because they don't want you to do it... <laughs> they don't want you to do it a ton. Hmm? Oh, good. And so they make it, like, uncomfortable to use. No. Right, not fast enough to make it blurry, yeah. Like, I'm not going that fast. I'm, like, running instead of jogging. The world doesn't blur by when you're just, like, doing a regular run. Wait, it's the Dune Sea. Yep, the Dune Sea. Or, what is that what it's called? Accident site. I, did I already do that? I don't know. Eastern Dune Sea, yep. It's just drunk. Right, I'm not actually faster. I just got really drunk. I'm like, oh yeah, guys, I'm gonna use the force to make us go faster. And what I actually do is just pull out a bottle of rum, swig it, and like, look at that. Like, it's so different. It's like a little... I'm like, whoa, the graphics are so great! <laughs> See, this? This is what people were seeing whenever I was playing with that really low bitrate. This is like what the game looked like on YouTube. And for you guys, too, like, it honestly looked like that. And, like, seeing it without the, the haste going, I'm like, whoa, what a beautiful game. <laughs> what great graphics. Do do our companions have also... I, I don't know, Haley. I think they do. I'm, like, I'm like trying to see if they're, like, with me or not, and they are. Uh, I gotta go over here. I think it casts it for everybody. Just walled my brain with the force. I just used the force to drink a bottle of rum. And then my companions are just like, uh, okay. Uh, they're like, they're actually jogging, like, just to keep up with me and make it look like I'm going fast. I feel like it's like a dream sequence almost. It's like, blah, 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 blah. but honestly, in a fight like this, this this effect lasts longer than I thought it would. Like it would be kind of interesting in a fight. Moment of truth. All right, get ready for the potential um, wibbly wobbly stream to drop out a tiny bit. I don't know if that'll happen, but it happens sometimes. We did loot this cave, yep. The star map. The star map. Even after all the thousands of years it has been here, it still has tremendous power. Can you not feel it? The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The great dragon may have been drawn here by Do people power. usually comment on it? it? Come. We should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. Well. Is, is that Is that it? Okay. Um interesting i don't i don't think i've ever had another jedi with except for jolie jolie was with me for the one on kashik oh i can oh not here can't do that here i gotta get to the regular desert and then i can go back to the ebon hawk but oh uh, yeah that's interesting to have their them comment on it <laughs> yeah, so, woo, we're going so fast. It's crazy. No fast travel. Nope, not right here. Not in this desert. In the next desert, though, it seems a little arbitrary, honestly. Wow, this effect has gone on for so long. I hope it doesn't keep going in the ship. And despite whatever possible awkward cutoff point this was we're gonna end it here welcome again to the generic outro for the next few episodes i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and i will see you in the next one